We've climbed back up to the canopy of the Amazon rainforest, where we come face to face with one of the best hunters around. A harpy eagle can sit silently for hours, watching for the perfect opportunity. Harpies are expert monkey catchers. They are armed with talons five inches long, the size of grizzly bear claws, that can exert more than 100 pounds of pressure. And they're so powerful, they can pluck prey, weighing as much as they do, which is about 20 pounds, clean out of the canopy. Large eyes give them excellent vision. They can pinpoint the smallest prey more than 600 feet away. Despite a wingspan of more than six feet, the harpy eagle is surprisingly agile. It can fly up to 50 miles per hour and maneuver through the trees with the lightning reactions of a fighter pilot. It's over in seconds. A juvenile harpy eagle hangs around its parent's nest, begging for food. It's already grown its feathers for flight, but it is not yet an experienced hunter. This sloth has chosen a dangerous place for a snooze. An adult harpy would snatch this sleepy sloth off its branch in the blink of an eye. It's a lucky escape for the sloth, but let's not call it a quick getaway. Sloths are certainly slow moving, but there's nothing lazy about them. Their ponderous movements are part of their unique way of coping with jungle life. Sloths spend their whole lives in just a handful of trees. Claws clamp onto branches, and their grip is so strong, they rarely fall, even when they go to sleep. Modified muscles allow a sloth to hang for hours in positions other mammals would find impossibly uncomfortable. The secret to the sloth's survival is slow digestion. They expend so little energy, they need to eat only a small amount. They chew their way through less than seven ounces of leaves each day. Every meal takes 30 days to digest. They come to the ground just once a week. The climb down is worth the effort because the result serves to fertilize their patch of trees. Sloths blend in completely with their surroundings. Their mottled fur is highly camouflaged and even goes green with algae when it's wet. They can't regulate their own body temperature as other mammals do, but instead rely on the constant warmth of the rainforest to keep up their metabolism. Sloths are so much a part of their environment that they have themselves been colonized by other animals. These tiny moths spend their whole lives in a sloth's shaggy coat. A hundred or more moths can be found burrowing in the fur of a single sloth. As caterpillars, the moths feed exclusively on sloth dung. By hitching a ride on the sloth, female moths make sure they are always in the right place at the right time to lay their eggs next to their food supply. 
Being so wholly dependent on one habitat and food source makes animals very vulnerable to change. But such specialized ways of life are one of the reasons the Amazon is so diverse.